Okay, we are ready to start designing your pottery. Your design on the front of the pottery, you're going to use this grid. You're going to use the grid. So you're going to choose your picture from this folder and you're going to lay your grid over the top. Now, today you're going to get your piece of pottery and I made these pieces of pottery for you on a potter's wheel. And what you need to do today is figure out the measurements. So the grid is a one inch grid. This is a one inch grid. So I'm going to lay this on here with one of the lines touching the line on the foot. And it looks like, look, from the foot to the lip, I've got one, two, three, four, about four and three quarters high. So would this guy work? Could I do four inches here? One, two, three. He's three and a half inches. That size would work. So I'm going to put my measurement up here. And he is four and three quarters, my piece of pottery that is, is four and three quarters tall. So that will help me remember that that's how big I need my piece of pottery. Now we're going to use this, it's called a velvet underglaze. A glaze actually has um, ground up glass in it so it gets really shiny and in the kiln it, it turns into liquid glass and it would stick to the shelf if we put it on the bottom. So we have to be careful with that. This is not glaze. This is actually an underglaze. If we didn't put a glaze on top of it, it would not be shiny at all. It would be matte. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint from the lip to the foot. So the first thing I want you to do is take your paintbrush and make a smooth line. Make sure you're pulling that brush across the surface here. And you're going to paint a coat of black underglaze on your pot. Now you need to be careful with your pottery. Don't drop it. Don't squeeze it. What you do to it now will cause cracks later if you're not careful. So notice how I'm carefully holding it in one hand. And give it all a coat of glaze. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the top part and then I'm going to set it down and let that dry a little bit and then I'll do the bottom part so I don't have to worry about handling that. Once it's dry, it'll be a little easier to do. So you're going to go about halfway down or more. So you can just hold that there. And then we'll let that dry or not. Maybe we'll just do it this way. Yeah, we're going to do it this way. Psych, change my mind, get used to it. So I'm going to carefully, with my fingers here, I'm going to carefully turn it and I want to be careful not to get into the foot or the lip. Pull my brush. You don't want to push your brush. You don't have any control. So don't do this. You want to pull your brush across the surface. Get right up to the foot. Okay. Then you're going to take your pencil and you're going to write your name in the bottom. And then I also want you to write your class in the bottom, what year you are graduating. So your class graduation date and your first and last name in the bottom. And that's it for today.